Welcome to my studio. I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for dropping by. Today we are drawing Project 5, a Jabara Daisy from the Strathmore Learning Series, How to Draw Nature with Color Pencil. The daisy is rendered on Strathmore Bristol vellum paper using Prismacolor Premier Pencil. If you'd like to see more tutorials, product reviews, and participate in future live streams, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you don't miss out. I first begin by outlining the flower petals with crimson red and yellow stamens with Spanish orange. I began to block in the center with a light umber and all the petals with pale vermilion. I then began to develop the center by using dark brown and Tuscan red and then added a second coat of pale vermilion to all the petals and added orange to add additional color to the petals. I further developed the center by using Spanish orange, dark umber, Tuscan red, and black. I added crimson red to the petals, preserving the orange areas that I developed earlier. I used Tuscan red for the shadows on the petals in the center, moving around the yellow stamens as I worked. Then intensifying the stamen color with Spanish orange. Crimson red was used to burnish the petals and Tuscan red and black for the shadows. After developing the center of the flower using a combination of Spanish orange, Tuscan red, and black, I began blocking the stems with lime pill and gave the background a layer of dark green. After developing more color and depth within the flower using the same colors as in the previous steps, I began to create the water droplets using white, Tuscan red, and dark umber. And this is where it all started to really take a wrong turn. So the directions say dab a wet paintbrush on the tip of the white marking pencil to apply highlights for the water droplets. As you will see, I did that and I absolutely hated the outcome. So I already moved all of those highlights and burnished with white, which I liked much better. Have you ever done a project that had written instructions and you followed them thinking something didn't seem right about it and you knew in your heart you shouldn't do it but you did it anyway? Let me know your story in the comments below. After fixing the I know I shouldn't do that but I'm going to do it anyway mistake, I proceeded to move on by developing the stem with lime pill, dark umber, moss green, and apple. I finished the piece off by using my black marking pencil to color the background and an oil-based paint marker for my signature. I then sealed it with a workable fixative to help alleviate the wax bloom. Thanks for watching! Please take a moment to share and give a big thumbs up. Until next time, keep on arting! Bye!